The STS-K001 bridge bus system includes the following components. An A31H amplifier, a bridge bar customer unit, a staff loudspeaker unit, a power supply, fixings, and a counter hearing loop aerial. To install the customer bridge bar, Use a pencil to mark the position at which the microphone is central to the pass-through tray in the window. Next, disassemble the bridge bar unit by removing the four screws. Pull the covers from the pods and unravel the cables inside. Remove the connector plugs from the end of these cables. Lay the unit on its back and completely remove both cables together. Set the cables aside and stand the bridge bar in the default position. Return it to the previously marked location. You may find that the speaker pods are rocking on the surface of the counter. To fix this, loosen the allen bolts that are pinching at the bar. The bar will drop and the pod should now fit flat onto the countertop. Ensuring the microphone stem is vertical, you can now re-tighten the bolts. Next, press the bridge bar against the glass, then pull it forward 2 or 3 millimeters to provide clearance for the back of the unit. With a pencil, mark fixing holes. Please note, you only need to mark the fixing holes on the side because the cable runs down the pipe to the other side. On the left hand side of the unit, mark the fixing holes followed by the hole for the unit to run through. Move the unit to one side and begin drilling. Start by drilling two pilot holes for the fixings, then another for the cable. You should use a two to two and a half millimeter drill. Change to a seven to eight millimeter drill bit to enlarge the hole for cabling. Repeat the process on the other side, but remember there is no need to drill a hole in the middle. Using the screws provided, we can now attach the mounting bracket to the countertop. You may need to remove the green connector to feed the cable through the hole. Now, push the wiring through the cable hole and feed through under the counter. Ensure the connector is screwed back onto the cable at the correct polarity. Leave around 6 inches spare so you can easily access it in the future. Slide the speaker pod back into position. Refit the screws on both sides. The installation is now complete. Place the staff loudspeaker on the staff side of the countertop. Ensure that it does not cause an obstruction and is as close to staff as possible. Use the cable management hole in the counter to run the staff loudspeaker cable back to the amplifier position. If there is not already a cable management hole, drill in a suitable location near the rear of the counter. To install the under the counter hearing loop, ascertain the intended user's position. Install the hearing loop cable so that the center of the created rectangle shape is positioned towards the intended user's position. Place the aerial in an inverted L shape on the underside of the counter, following the example of the displayed installation. Insert the staff microphone connection to sockets 16 and 17, also labeled the staff mic connection. Insert the staff loudspeaker connection into sockets 5 and 6, also labeled the staff speaker connection. Insert the customer microphone connection into sockets 14 and 15, also labeled the customer microphone connection. Insert the customer loudspeaker connection into sockets 3 and 4, also labeled the customer speaker connection. For a hearing loop output, connect to sockets 1 and 2, labeled loop. The power connection goes into the socket labeled PWR. Place the amplifier under the staff counter, ensuring that it will not obstruct staff when they are sitting. The amplifier front should face outwards, with adjustment buttons accessible. Drill and fix the amplifier in place using the supplied screws. Install the amplifier's power supply close to a power socket outlet using the supplied mounting bracket and fixing screws. Root all cabling securely, fixing cables into position using provided cable clips or other suitable fixings. Ensure all hearing loop signage is displayed prominently. Adhere the provided hearing loop sticker to the glass or plastic screen or to other surfaces available. The label should be clearly visible in an unobstructed position.